Hey Blender people, last night I posted a video on how to put a decal on, stencil, using uh, texture painting. Um, I chose probably the most difficult uh, scenario where you have a curved surface and you have a round decal, all right? Some of you are having problems with uh, distorted decals, and I understand that. So um, this method would work uh, probably better if you had like a cylinder, if that's what you wanted, a curved surface, and you know, like a label, you know, like a sign or something. It would, it, it could work better in that case. To put the round circle decal on a curved surface, like a helmet of some sort, um, you, you can run into some distortion issues. I'll show you the shrink wrap modifier way if you don't know that already. Um, we're, it's going to increase the poly count. I don't particularly care, but we're going to have to subdivide uh, the decal a good amount. And then we'll use the shrink wrap modifier and we'll put materials on separately uh, for the decal and the base model. Okay, and that should uh, pretty much solve that. So. Um, if you haven't seen that method, stay tuned and I'll, I'll make a video about that tonight. I'll use a, a very similar kind of model and the same radioactive decal and maybe a couple more to show you that, that that can work for you. Okay, so you have a couple of different methods. The texture painting method is, is awesome for, for certain things and sometimes you might want to do uh, the shrink wrap modifier method uh, you know, for other scenarios. Okay, so hang in there. We'll get this solved. And uh, thanks for your feedback.